Here we go. It's been a while. It's been a while. Well, I took some time off because my daddy died. <laughs> Come on. where in the world is Michael Strahan? It's been a while. Besides, may I say, being in some of the doing some of the best football commentary he really does uh he really does. like out of any analyst in a while and it's not just because we're marks for fucking michael strahan now but just legit because a lot of them are either retarded or annoying and he just has a like he's because he's fun and i love football well because he went over to like gma and you could yep. tell he really refined his like broadcaster side and his goofiness side but that motherfucker knows football and still watches every fucking game so he's not like a guy that's like coming in like, no, hey, I kind of watch this. But like he's like, did you see that play last week? In oh, the you mean when quarter? they try to shoehorn Frank Caliendo because he did a John Madden, but he knew nothing, nothing about, football? about football. That was yeah. so annoying. It's like, oh, he does John Madden. He'll be great for the football show. Meanwhile, Strand's like, I've seen this kid play in college yeah. two years ago. In a game against Stanford, I remember in the third quarter, <laughs> like, dude, this guy watches every football game. So what is he? Is he uh, cover story beyond space? On Easter Island. Better. Michael is there. Easter Show Island. A new discovery. Hey, Michael. Hey, George. That's right. I'm here to report on how okay. the island is being affected by climate change. But just he last week, that? a new he's clearly there. Yeah. But have I just been psyoped to the point where? It still just feels like a green screen. Yeah, yeah like yeah. his feet are clearly on a green. He's clearly there. But every time I look at somebody now and I see the good lighting, I'm like, is that a green? I, I just everything's fake. They don't even do anything in the White House anymore. <laughs> I don't believe Easter Island exists. There you go. It's, I don't believe that. No, I thought I, I literally never heard of it until the critic. Yeah. I know, let's hear why. Let's hear why climate change is affecting fucking the Earth now. I guess. New statue was found partially due to those changing conditions, and this morning. We're oh, giving you a, closer a look. new statue was found because of uh, because climate change. Well, well, well. How about thank you, SUV yeah. owners? I, you know what? I'm How sorry. about thank you? Yeah, I was just gonna say. I mean, that's an extra. That's one more statue, right? And places that you couldn't farm are gonna become warm. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to farm. How about you're welcome? Yeah. How about, uh, how about, how about yeah, you're welcome? How about I drive a gas guzzling SUV now? So I'd like to mm -hmm. thank you for bringing the sea levels back mm -hmm. to where they were prior when people were building statues there. Seems to me like it's a return to normalcy. My AC's at 69 all day. First of all, all nice. Thank you. <laughs> all day. All day. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes in the summer, my cats, they just like the outside. They like the smells. Mm -hmm. I'll crack the windows when it's hot out. Just run the air. You know what I do? Gas fireplace when it's cold outside, but open the door so it gets a little cold in there still inside. I like to like, the battle. Can I um, yeah. can be honest with you? I've been looking at one of those LED ones that we saw. Yeah, in the yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, I'll run the air so cold, but have warm spots. Because <laughs> yeah. that's what we do. That's how we roll in Florida. Thank you, SUV owners. We still use coal. Just as I am making my way to report on the effect climate change is having on Easter Island. He looks so bizarre when the person he's interacting with also happens to be bizarrely tiny. Because he's so huge and a little Asian lady's like, thank you for your ticket. Now, I was in Easter Island and I was surprised there was no candied eggs or rabbits. Very, very surprised that it's nothing like the holiday. George Stephanopoulos is on the phone with Soros going, oh. do you have those reanimated zombies of Easter Island ready to attack him, please? This is the next level. He comes back. So the reanimated island zombies, uh, turns out, you know, they're not such bad guys. Oh, no, he's the king of the island zombies. We got to talking about, you know, Easter Island, and they were shocked at my knowledge of the history of the island. Mm -hmm. Also, big Giants fans got them tickets. Mm -hmm. They have been friends now. So I'm king of the Easter Island zombie people. And this one, no, in this one, he's not even like, wow, so you're the king of that. Nah, no, but they don't let me be king because I'm not a zombie. But they made me an honorary member. Which is and great. And they said that I am welcome to come in here and engage in trade with them at any time. I have all the perks except I'm not allowed at the flesh eating festivals. Which is fine because that's more of a holy high yeah. holiday and I understand. And I'm doing more of a keto thing now anyway, so. Dude, um, he's just going to fucking make it. Literally every evil force in the world that Stephanopoulos yes. has tried to unite against yes, him, yes. and they just end up going, us Trahan guys, all right. <sighs> the incredible finding 
a previously undiscovered Moai statue newly unearthed. You're welcome. This stat- you know, the things that we do for this planet yeah. go un- un- unnoticed. My truck gets 20 miles to the Gallon Highway. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Statue, the first of its kind ever found in this dried up lake bed, once full of water. Yes, that's what a dried up lake bed is. Lake Rano Raraku has completely evaporated. In- oh, man, that's the running back on my fantasy team. Rano Raraku. Rano Raraku. <laughs> the last two years due in part to climate change. A recent fire incinerating the dried up vegetation, unveiling the statue hidden beneath for centuries. There have been no more. Does that not feel like some kind of weird omen? It does. Maybe it's not climate change. Maybe it's like the fact that we're just trying to start World War III and Uh burning everything to the ground. And found in what was previously a lake. It turns out I uncovered the first seal in the book of Revelation. (laughs) Uh, so this is this is uh, a first. We could see more new discoveries of Moai from the lake bed and under the present dry condition. So let's get to this. That was that was a uh, this is a little more recent. And Easter Island, there you see it right there. Sunrise over Easter Island. We just learned that it's the same time there mm-hmm. as it is here, but the sun is in a different How is place. That? That's so, it's, it's so- How do time zones work? Is that what you're asking? strange maybe michael can explain it to us but michael you brought us on such an adventure and now you have some special guests oh no he did become king of the easter island people jesus fucking mm-hmm. christ they're about to do some sort they of are dance. now following me oh no oh no that's what happened didn't it as well it has been an adventure. that's right and by the way george i'm just gonna come right out and say it these people came clean and uh i know it's been you this whole time so uh, I'm taking the, the Maori people here mm-hmm. and, the, and the space niggas and all these motherfuckers. Puffins, so, the puffins. The puffins. We coming for you, man. The mole people. The also. mole people. Mm-hmm. Everybody I made friends with. We come with the polar bears are coming. Everyone's coming. That That's the final. Up. It's the final, like, you know, that third Avengers <laughs> show, The third act showdown where all the Avengers assemble. And it's just going to be Michael Strahan swarming New York City with this weird army <laughs> to come get George Stephanopoulos. All that to you, but I don't know everything. But it, it's gonna look like fucking Lord of the Rings. It would be so dope. Yeah, final <laughs> showdown. It, it has been. I gotta say, you guys, it's, it has been so incredible to learn about this place and its rich culture. And a part of that is music and dance. We had a little taste of it earlier in the show, but I'm here now. I did not realize these people me, still dress hard. like this. <laughs> He's the director. Of- it was a shock to me that I saw this man's testicles as soon as I met him. Bro, oh, isn't group. it like embarrassing? Like when, like when you go, you ever been to like an Indian powwow? Like what? Like in the prairie? No, like it, like they have them anywhere where you live near like Indian reservations. They'll have a powwow once in a while. I've never they, been to one. No. They had them all. Like all of those Trump things they do. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've never been to one. I know what you're talking like, about. Like I've been to a powwow before on Long Island, and it was because it wasn't just a powwow. There was like a circus there, and then it was like a fucking trade sh- circus swap meet show thing. It was a whole bunch mm-hmm. of shit going on, but there was a powwow there. Mm-hmm. Isn't it kind of like in, in 2020, isn't it 2023 kind of embarrassing to be doing like a weird minstrel show of like your pe- my my people, my people. Like it, it's, I would be embarrassed. Like I, if I was like a black guy, I wouldn't want to dress up like, uh, like uh, Kamala and fucking chuck a spear and be like, "Ooh, ooh I wish it was Levar Burton. I, I wish yeah, it was Levar I mean? Burton." Like, it just feels weird to do it to this day and be like, "Yeah, it's part of the show. We still dress in fucking leather loincloth and collect arrowheads." It's like, dude, the fucking world's ending, man. Maybe stop. I think these dudes obviously dress normal. They do this just for like this. That because this, look, these guys, this guy's on for, steroids no, back here. These guys do it for like TV and yeah. stuff. I'm saying they have Indian reservations though, where this motherfuckers do it for real. And right, right, like, right. Why are you doing this? Thank you hey, for being here, my friend. And um, you know, you've been singing and dancing since you were a baby, since you were a kid. So how long have so you been gay? pass on the traditional Rapa Nui music oh, and song okay. to the future generation. I'm going to tell you, but first, good morning, America. That's right, I love Leo it. We say hello from here, from Rapa Nui, this beautiful... Wow, he's taking over the interview. This guy's an absolute Rapa Nui Chad. He is. Uh, the name of the group is Mana Maohi, which means mm-hmm. energy. Which means creed in our language. We had the name first, I want to be clear, before that fucking Scott piece of shit Scott Stapp started that yes. fucking band. 
technology, the power of the police. We were the first. <laughs> we were the first creed. Uh, coincidentally, also, my first album was called My Own Prison. Yeah. Very, very anyway, here is Wonderwall. Anyway, here is my own prison. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds nothing like the Creed version. We are Polynesian. And then we practice that. You know, there is a part of me that roots for people like this deep down. And there's part of me that kind of wants the, the, the final. The final <laughs> count. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of want Chinese, American, and Russian nukes to all go off at once. Give us the fallout reset. And I'm just hoping that like little groups like this kind of survive and we start over. Like, we, like when you just get so sick of like winning in civilization, but you don't yeah. feel like continuing to take over the world. You're like, oh, I'm done. I did good on this one. And you just want to start over again. I just want to have dudes with sticks and a bow and arrow again. Let's start over. I'm bored. Like, I'm bored with society. Mm. We just nuke it and then hope like tribes like this survive, playing a little ukulele. Start fresh. Shooting yeah. people from horseback with a bow and arrow. Way, and you guys take it away. There we go. Here we go. Let's go. Are they attacking? Ah, they're attacking. Shoot them with our guns. Oh, that's right. We have handguns. They could do nothing. Dude, Strahan's private security is just a little too twitchy. That guy has a pearl drum stand. <laughs> wow, that song kind of sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Virgie has a good point. He has a pearl drum stand. Like the traditional Easter Island people have always had, Virgie. Idiot. <coughs> I um, really hey, Virgie, read a history book sometime. I really appreciate Virgie having that lens that none of us have, uh -huh. which is just yeah, musician. Like he can spot shit that none it of is us though. look it for. And I'm looking it's at it. Now it's bugging me. <laughs> Yo, you couldn't hold them shit like bongos or some shit? Bro, Virgie would be one of the biggest pains in the asses and also assets on any production. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, cool. So you're doing the scene in the 1920s and he's mm. got a pearl drum stand. <laughs> does, he have a, does he have a fucking a Les Paul too, you faggot? So let me get this straight. Ralph, Ralph Macchio, we're supposed to pretend he's a, he's really good at guitar. <laughs> How about he hits the fucking notes bro. right? I don't care who you have playing yes. over him. Bro, it's it, bro, it's a Joey Jordanson signature stand. It's savage. <laughs> <laughs> Turns Maybe. out they're all traditional Maori people, except the guy on drums. He's yeah. just one of the percussionists from Slipknot. That got fired because he, he wouldn't get he wouldn't get the vax. Was this Arrested Development. <laughs> all right, now it's just noise. Okay, keep it down. It all, sounds, like like Yoko, sounds like, sounds like a Yoko. Sounds like a Yoko Ono fucking track. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we'll be performing at the Easter Island Hooters this weekend. <laughs> They work at whatever fucking version of a Jiffy Lube is on that island. <laughs> I see you guys have been working on your dancing. Now you should work on your music. <laughs> this yes. song kind of fucking sucks. How long are we filming? I have to go back to work at the Cold Stone Creamery. <laughs> Like, why are we still doing that stuff, though? Uh, I don't know. How is it supposed to stop climate change? I'm, I'm I love how really out of touch Good Morning America's gotten, though, where they're doing all this shit while the world is just, like, the, we're literally teetering towards disaster and everyone's poor and sad and miserable. <laughs> Fucking Lou Ferrigno made a, made a good point. They're just, they're just like, they're, they're the North Dakota to South Dakota. As fucking as as Easter Island is to fucking Hawaii, they're just copying Hawaii and trying to be Hawaii. It's Hawaii, but no one wants to go there. Yeah, the, uh, Easter Island doesn't have a culture because nobody lives there. No, that's a good point.